Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. It's going to be X Men versus Auto War. Auto War being the guy who I forgot about this last time, who was with, who replaced, sorry, who was replaced by King Raptors in the tournament, but he didn't show up, or they didn't show up. And X Men is one of the Cordas. We're going to be on Bandit Plains. So, let's get that started. All right. So, in case you're wondering, sorry about the delay. I unfortunately did not manage to get the Twitch chat thing working, which. I wasn't surprised by I mean, I'll get it working for the next time. Unfortunately, it did cause an ops crash, which is a bit of a pain, but, oh well, it seems to be working well enough right now. So, or rather, it's not failing terribly. Not causing the crash right now. X-Men going for shield bots, going for dirt bags, while Ottawa is going for shield bots as well, but going straight for convicts. Interesting choice, though, on a map this size, that isn't surprising. Ottawa is just, deal just basically banking on the fact that the map is big enough, although not sure what they're planning on doing because they're going for a Newton, which honestly makes no sense. I think Auto War must be a team player. Newtons are used fairly frequently in team games, especially for Roach Cannons. Though I think Roach Cannons are no longer a thing, but they were for a while. X-Men, on the other hand, going for something much more typical and expected, using Dirt Bags to scout out, followed by Bandits to go for an actual attack. So this Newton's going to be a bit of a pain. It is currently set to repulse any units that are coming in. So, Auto War is going to... Well, let's see here. Auto War... You're going to have to deal with these dirtbags, which no, won't be a big deal. The problem is going to be the bandits. Auto War not even building anything from here. Actually, floating resources. Not sure what Auto War is planning on doing. I honestly have no idea what Auto War is thinking. Hmm. Like I said, I assume that they're a team player. Because this does not make sense from a 1v1 perspective. It, it, Build Raiders. Like, by now, what x is doing, x is knows how to play 1v1 and is building the dirtbags and the bandits. They show that they know how to play this game. Ottawa, on the other hand, is playing a team game with one person using Newtons as defenses to keep x away, which incidentally won't work very well because of the fact that this area here is jumpable. While... x on the other hand, is... Well, just getting ready with bandits. Not sure what X-Men is waiting for, why they aren't just jumping in and basically just headbutting this all to death. However, Ottawa now switching to thugs very quickly. The bandits will be able to beat this no problem. The problem will be getting in. But since the dirtbags can just basically jump over, they at least can deal with the metal extractors. They actually go in front of the factory and stop that completely. I don't think Ottawa will be able to deal with this, but I think x might actually be sandbagging a little bit. I'm not sure, but I think they might actually just be going easy on Auto War. We'll see, though. Dirtbags jumping in and finding the Newtons, realizing that's not the way to go. However, x are not quite changing the orders in this one. They remain going in the direction they were originally going to go in. While... Let's see, a dozen bandits have been built for x but none of them are really prepared to attack. They're all kind of hanging out in the base. That's all they're doing. However... X-Men does see all these Newtons that have come in. And I should point out that Newtons really don't have any ammo or anything. So they just they just push. They can only push one unit at a time. So X-Men can bum rush the stage as it were. But I don't know if they're going to do that. Like I said, I think X-Men might just be going easy. However, they are switching to Racketeers. So they're going to be disarming the Newtons first from a distance. And then rushing with everything else. It looks like some dirtbags coming in trying to just... Overwhelm it with numbers, though honestly not many in the way not much in the way of numbers, and one of the dirtbags falls to its death in the water. Well, sort of death. Actually, hardly damaged at all, come to think of it. It could just jump into the main base and start wreaking havoc. That'd be the thing to do. Exponent, on the other hand, is So we are not really seeing much of anything, honestly, I'm afraid. Next one is... Not able to get into quickly. And Ottawa's a little bit overconfident about this, thinking, oh yeah, the idea works. No, no, it doesn't. Once these racketeers come in and... Actually, the first one hasn't been built yet. What the heck? That's rather odd. But yeah, once that Racketeer comes in, well, I mean, at this point, x one can just build around... Yeah, x one is about to say, he's proving negatively. First off, he's going to overwhelm this one with dirtbags. And secondly, 
racked tears are going to come in, although so far just one, and stop the rest of them from doing anything. Yeah, in come the dirtbags, and actually not quite overwhelming. Bandits would probably do a better job, and they are in fact coming in, but like I said, this really isn't proving anything. All it's showing is auto war is turtling up, but turtling does not work in this game. Can just point that out? Doesn't work. You need territory control. The economy in this game is entirely based on territory control, and a map like Bandit Plains in particular, you are going to be able to get a huge economy, and X-Men right now has three times the economy of auto war. Well, three times metal. Not as so much energy, but energy is being worked on. A fusion reactor being built, and when that's done, well, caretakers coming in will just allow this entire thing to be just torn apart. Auto War is going to lose this game. It's a matter of time, and to that end, I'm going to speed up the replay. Because not much interesting is going to be happening for a little while. You have Bandits trying to come in to deal with the Newton, and eventually gets overwhelmed. There we go. At the six minute mark, finally, Newton gets overwhelmed by Bandits. A few of them going back to retreat, but most of them just stuck underwater. They're just stuck there. They get terraformed out, I suppose, but yeah, they're stuck there. And now they come in to raid. Unfortunately for them, Newton still being a bit of a pain, forcing them all into the water. Over, yeah, if a constructor came in or a commander came in and just terraformed this into a level piece of terrain, those bandits would be already in position to deal with that particular metal extractor. And actually, terraforming this entire area would be an easy way to counter this Newton strategy. Not what X-Men is going for. X-Men is going for a much more typical and slightly safer strategy of just out eco. Get all the economy, get a bunch of caretakers, and mass racketeers, mass everything. Actually, I'm not sure if they're disabled. I don't think they're disabled from jumping in the water. I'm not 100% sure, though. But yeah, it doesn't really matter because, like I said, a terraform would beat this, and even if a Newton was put here, the racketeers would also beat this once they come in. And this entire side, actually, the east side has been opened up, so... Exponent has all the options and has six times the economy of auto war. Six times and another fusion reactor just for the heck of it. Why not? Why not build another fusion reactor? Because, hey, it's there. Provides more energy. You're bond light on power, so go for it. Auto war is being surrounded and will soon lose this game. It's really just a matter of time. Auto war has ceded the entire map to Exponent. Exponent is surprisingly not even... Well, not surprisingly. Not... Any change there? Wait, what the? What am I talking about position? Okay, well, anyway, talking about jumping versus Newtons, but not the biggest deal. It. I'm pretty sure jumping does give immunity to Newtons because jumping is not based on impulse. But I've never really tested it myself because no one builds Newtons in one v one, or very, very rarely. I've seen it once. I've actually fought against it once, and I ended up winning. It took me longer than I needed to, but it was unravaged. And yeah, there's a Newton. There's actually an, one of my images that I use for the intermission is from that game. Where one of my Rockos ends up flying high in the sky and firing down, killing the Newton from the air. Which, to me, pretty much just completely symbolizes zero K. Just how much flexibility you have in the game. But that's beside the point. I guess, yeah, philosophical discussions of what is zero K aside. Newtons are never used, ever. And at this point, X-Men, X-Men are now with... Nine times the economy, or very nearly eight times the economy at least, of auto war. Surprisingly not building... Okay, now getting caretakers. Not that many caretakers yet. Should probably build another factory too. Like get five or six caretakers and another factory or two. And why is he going for dirtbags? Racketeers make sense, but dirtbags? Really? I don't know. I think Exponent is just being... No, I think Exponent is really just... Kind of trolling auto war. Make an auto war, or not trolling so much, but sandbagging somewhat. They just make an auto war think that auto war has a chance. But not really. No, not not at all. Not in the least. Auto war has nothing. The only reason that this army discrepancy is not bigger is because X-Men is building cheap units that... No, even then, it's just... Yeah, X-Men really needs more characters, need a couple more factories, but... I don't think X-Men is really playing that hard. Which I didn't really realize would happen when I picked this game to cast. I thought it would be more even, but nope. So once again, in the interest of saving time, I will be fast forwarding through this section as the dirtbags basically try to headbutt this mace to death. And fail in doing so. Not that it really matters though, because these bandits can just 
rush once again the Newton. And there's the Racketeer. There we go. There's that Racketeer, which will now, like, Racketeer Dirtbag. Honestly, this is just, this is just getting silly. All the Dirtbags coming in and chasing after the thugs in the only time I've ever th think it thought it'd be appropriate for Yakety Sacks to play during a 0k game, but I don't have that on this computer, so I can't actually play it. Not to mention it's a little bit stereotypical to play that song when people are running quickly in such a way. Or things are running quickly like this. Yeah, how many dirtbags are there? 126 dirtbags. 126 dirtbags from Exponent. Closing in an auto war. And there's not much the Newtons are likely to be able to do against this. A couple Newtons on the east side of the map, but honestly... Auto war... Second shield by factory. Simply because the first shield by factory is producing dirtbags... It's spitting the dirtbags out slower than it's actually producing them. It's taking longer for them to walk off the platform than to be built. It's also the first time I've ever seen someone double build a factory in Zero K. This is just... The heck? Okay, so now there's 169. There's 171, 172. Yeah, it's like two per second. Dirtbag Rush! Just pushing in. All the dirtbags, headbutt to death. With dirtbags. I mean, these ones over here are getting knocked about, but yeah, the ones here. Dirtbag... Dirtbag versus Newton. Apparently, dirtbags eventually win. But yeah, that's as soon as they come into the factory, they start killing the factories off. That Actually, are they even attacking anything? Yeah, there they go. Now they're going to attack the factory. The factory's taking a bit of damage. There is a felon up, but that felon getting head butted to death and stuck it, as it kills more dirtbags. It's gonna have a harder and harder time actually hitting anything. With all the hills forming in the way, but yep. 203 dirt bags now. All the dirt bags. I just don't even. Yep, even more dirt bags being built up. It just it's all dirt bags. All dirt bags all the time. It's not zero K anymore. It's just dirt bag. And down goes a metal extractor. As more dirt bags come in, and this felon trying to do it, it can, but getting slowly torn apart. And exponents. Really kind of humiliating auto war at this point. Auto war is those Newtons just did not do anything. Although the east side of the map, the dirt bags are not being able to get in, and more and more getting stuck in the water, along with everything else. I mean, these convicts really should be terraforming up. Try to terraform up this entire area just to get the water irrelevant. To make it totally irrelevant. But wait, what? Okay, seriously, guys, if you're gonna make cheats in the game, please mention it in the game chat so that. People know, you know, me, I know. Oh yeah, so now just jumped into Dante. This this game, well, just when I thought it couldn't get sillier. Just when I thought it couldn't get sillier, but even with that, Auto War is completely screwed. I just, yeah. This, this, I, please mention this in the game chat. If it's a totally stupid game like this, Please bring it up, because honestly, this is... This... This is just silly. Yep, cheat and Dante. Maybe I just make the replay inconsistent by killing it myself, because I actually could do that. But it doesn't matter. Because the shield blocks are going to go down. I mean, it really doesn't matter, because if Auto War is going to cheat in units, then... Yeah, I don't know. How many dirtbags are there anyway? 250 dirtbags! I can't even speed the replay up for how many dirt bags there are in this game. And that... That Dante just... I don't even. Being pulled back by these Newtons, but... What difference does it make? Actually, destroying the Newtons in question as it goes along with friendly fire, because that's what Dantes do. Okay, I'm only casting this because the game started and I might as well finish it. I didn't know it was a cheat game when I started it because no one actually mentioned to me that it was a cheat game when I started it. But in all honesty, I'm almost thinking just going completely nuts and and killing this Dante myself because I can actually do that with cheats on. I can take control of Auto War's team and destroy that Dante. But Auto War about to lose their commander regardless, despite the cheats, and the Dante as well is... Okay, the Dante's not going to go down anytime soon. Yeah, this is just getting silly. The Dante even start taking damage at any point in the game. 
No. No, maybe. I don't know. Just dirtbags. Dirtbags everywhere. Ruining my show. Dirtbags. You know what? There we go. That's gone. Dante's gone. Game over. That was just stupid. That was, like, beyond silly. I just don't even. I, I just don't even. Yeah. I, I don't get that. So... Yeah, that was... That was that. I just don't even know why that happened. But anyway, I'm going to... Oops. I'm going to cast another game, which should hopefully actually have some semblance of sanity to it. The Cuban Lowry on Red Comet. People who actually know how to play without using cheats. <laughs>